Whether you're going for world first in the next raid or just trying to make your power climb next season a little bit more smooth, it all comes down to preparation and proper preparation can make a whole world of difference. My journey as a guardian started way back in 2014, early D1. And one thing that I've learned over the last six years of playing this game is that prepping for a new DLC or new raid or whatever's around the corner comes down to the same few core tasks that you have to do to prepare. That being said, it's important to note that depending on how far in the future you're watching this, certain core elements of the game may have been changed that makes some of the information in this video no longer relevant. However, if that is the case, I'm gonna make sure to put that in the description below, but if enough things change to where this entire video is irrelevant or otherwise incorrect, I'm just gonna make an entirely new video and I'm gonna link that right up here in the corner of your screen as well as the description and the pinned comment down below. If you don't see it in any of these three spaces, then this video is still very much valid and you might just need to look for a couple of minor changes in the description down below. We're going to start with one that's actually a little bit more obscure, doesn't get talked about very often, and that is to complete all your outstanding exotic quests, and to make sure you've at least picked them all up, because what happens is, you have the exotic quests for so long, and sometimes they get phased out, and then you have to wait for an undisclosed amount of time until they decide to turn it into an RNG exotic, or bring back the quests later in some new event. To prevent this from being a problem, you can go ahead and pick these up now, and then if this weapon ever becomes or is a very good PvE or PvP weapon, then you can take this opportunity right now to get ahead of the curve and have it just in case it becomes useful down the line. This of course also applies to Catalyst quests as well because we all know a good Catalyst can either make or break an exotic. Thanks to the introduction of sunsetting for both armor and weapons, you need to make sure that you future-proof all of your gear. To check this, you want to go into each piece of your gear. Currently, it's only the legendaries, but at the time you're watching this, they may have added the exotics to this list as well. But you want to go into each piece of gear and check out this stat right here. This is called your max power. Make sure that number is as high above your current power as possible. If it's about 50 or 100 above where you're at right now, you're probably going to be okay for at least one more content drop, but ideally you want to get as far ahead as possible. So if that number is pretty close to where you're at right now, this is your chance to go ahead and farm for something better or something that's going to last you a bit longer. Ever since the introduction of infusions back in D1, it's been very important to make sure that you've pre-stacked a whole bunch of resources, all of them actually, in your inventory ready to go before the new DLC, because it can really put a damper on your time frame of powering up if you have to go back and farm a bunch of planetary materials, enhancement cores, or whatever it is that you need to get the infusions done. It's important to note that as of the recording of this video on July 6, 2020, we don't actually know what happens to the materials of vaulted planets that's already in your inventory. They could disappear, they might be allowed to just stay in your inventory and be useless for a year, two years, three years, or however long it takes them to unvault that planet. We honestly have no idea. So it's important that you want to concentrate on the planets you know are going to not be vaulted in the next DLC. For example, in Beyond Light, we know for sure that the EDZ and Nessus are both going to be around, so we want to make sure you farm those materials a lot. As for the other materials that are a little bit more standardized and aren't tied to a certain planet like Legendary Shards, Glimmer, Enhancement Cores, Enhancement Prisms, and Ascendant Shards, the single best way to farm all of these is the Nightfall Ordeal. You can also get some exotics pretty quickly in the Nightfall Ordeal as well, so if you have any gaps in your collections, this is a great opportunity to fill those gaps while you're farming for other things. Of course, in addition to all of this, you want to make sure that you're going back to your Postmaster regularly to clean that out and dismantle anything you don't want to number one, make sure that you're getting the extra free materials, and number two, so you don't lose anything that you actually do want to keep that happens to be in your Postmaster. Another great way to get some extra planetary materials is to do planetary bounties. Each planet has a set of bounties every day, and those bounties do award some extra materials alongside some more XP, so this actually serves a dual purpose. 
This is great for getting more materials ready for the new season. And if you make sure that you're farming these bounties on an unvaulted planet or a planet that will not be vaulted in the next DLC, then you can make sure that you have a bunch of XP ready to go in advance. Because as long as you complete these bounties ahead of time and just hold them in your inventory, unless they decide to just clear all your bounties out before the new DLC, you're going to have a bunch of XP stacked up and ready to be turned in right when you get into the game on day one. Provided this tactic still works by the time that you watch this video, this will only work on certain kinds of bounties. Bounties whose activity is going to be gone in the new DLC, like any seasonal activities or planets that are going to be vaulted, there's a great chance those bounties will not survive the new DLC up to day one for you to turn them in. So those you may as well just go ahead and scrap along the way or just use them as you're preparing for some extra XP right now in the current season. But as far as what to use to prepare for the new DLCs, the best ways that we found over the years are Vanguard bounties, Crucible, Gunsmith bounties, both daily and weekly, Gambit bounties, unless they get rid of Gambit, and you can also go for planetary bounties for planets that will survive the next vaulting, so ones that will not be vaulted in the next DLC. Additionally, Iron Banner bounties get wiped every new season and every new DLC, so don't even bother keeping those in your inventory, hoping to get free pinnacle gear out of them. That is what is currently known as of today, July 6th, actually now 7th, as of the recording of this video. So if anything changes, again, look in the description down below. If enough things change, I'll just make a brand new video about this so you guys have the most up-to-date information. I hope that helps, and I'll see you all in the next one.